What is going on my guys? Welcome back to my channel. I am Garrett with Game by the Beach and we are playing some Rush Royale today and uh, and uh, you know what to be honest I don't exactly know exactly what this video is going to be about. We are playing with our Boreas Shaman spam deck. We have climbed all the way up to like 6200 trophies something like that and uh, and this is like the first time Jesus, can we find a Boreas, please? There we go. This is like the first time that uh, I actually started to lose some games. I've started to lose some games. I was climbing like, I, I was winning like 10 games in a row. And uh, and I am now <laughs> not. Now I'm probably at like 50% or something like that. Win it, in, in, in game percentage, win percentage, something like that. So... So it's definitely interesting. I'm trying to climb up. Our goal is still to have a higher trophy high than last season, which was like 64 something. And uh, and then our ultimate goal is to perhaps hit 7K trophies, which would be a little bit absurd. And I'm not exactly sure if we if it's even possible for me to do that. Although the deck is really good, I don't know if it's possible for me to do that. But we are going up against an Inquisitor deck right now. We do have four uh, Boreas's on the map. And, uh, and it is Bedlam, so that's actually pretty good for us that it's Bedlam and we're going up against an Inquisitor, because as long as we can have Bedlam switch him one time, uh, we're going to be in at least a little bit better shape, because he's not going to be fully set up um, like he would be if Bedlam didn't hit. Makes perfect sense, right? But uh, our hopes is going to be to take out Bedlam before he makes any switches, so we need... At least, um, as much damage as we can possibly can, uh, and uh, and we can see what we can do. He doesn't have the right amount. He does have Bombardier, so I'm assuming he's going to be absolutely fine against uh, against Bedlam. But we've got three rank three Bor uh, rank two Boreas's on our map, so we might be able to take him out before he makes a switch. Nope. No, we did not. But uh, hopefully, hopefully it'll do us well. I don't know if it switched him or not. We do have a rank three Boreas though, so that's awesome. And uh, there we go. We got a summoner. You guys know I'm summoner forward thinking. We don't have any um, rank two Boreases. Let's do that. Oh, now we have another rank three, so that's something. Let's do this too. Um, and so far, so good. I think. Our board looks pretty all right. We do have two rank threes, so that's awesome. But let's let's get our Boreas to rank four, and then we'll start combining out rank one units. So that's the play, and uh, we're going up against Rub My Noodles. <laughs> you guys have the funniest names on here. <laughs> Rub My Noodles. Uh, and hopefully we can take this guy out. So we got a, a little combination we can do there. We actually have a ton of summoners. Have we had this many summoners this whole time? Let's do that. Let's spam out a shaman or two. Another one. And uh, and yeah, we're going to hold on for right now. 36 seconds. So I think we're going to have enough time to max out our Boreas and then combine out rank, rank 1 units. We are losing right now, which is hilarious because he's only got one damage unit on his board um, and we have a million. But such is the plight of the uh, <laughs> of the Inquisitor deck. So let's see. We can combine out that and that. Okay, we can get one more unit and it, and it should be fine. And then we have all of our units not at rank one. So I think we're at about the same. Let's start combining now. And then we'll do that. And that's everybody. I can combine my summoners, but I'm not going to right now because um, it would have gotten an extra unit on my board to which I didn't want. So uh, he's got 100 to chug through, but he's not going to have any problem. I was going to do my, my shamans right there, but there's no point. I might as well sh shaman him during the having the banner be up just to be a little extra annoying. And hopefully we can we can take this guy out and... and get a dub here we do have a couple of couple of summoners on the board a couple of shamans on the board and our boreas are maxed out so that's pretty much all you can ever ask for and uh and we're chugging along let's do another one just because we have so much 
And, uh, and yeah, we can still combine out rank one units. We can still level up our stuff. So I feel like we're in a pretty good spot, but the longer that an Inquisitor deck goes, the longer the game goes, the worse spot you're going to be in. I know you guys have heard, heard me say that before. And that's, uh, actually he's running Bombardier rather than, rather than, um, Cold Mage. So I actually like that a lot better, but, uh, it still doesn't, um, it still doesn't help us. But here we go. We only got one rank one Boreas on the map. Everything else is a higher rank. Combine out. Let's do another summoner combine out. Another shaman. And I feel like our board looks really nice, but we're still losing 15 seconds until Gorgon. So let's just make sure that our board is full. Another Boreas right there. I probably should have waited, and that's exactly why. I probably shouldn't have made my Harlequin a Shaman right there because I could have combined out my my um, my Summoner right there if I didn't if I didn't make the Harlequin a Shaman. But we got 400 to chug through. I think we're gonna take this out this guy out no problem. Um, and since it's Gorgon, actually, that's pretty good for us against uh, an Inquisitor. But it hasn't frozen any of his Inquisitors yet. There it goes. It froze two of them. So I think this this Gorgon is going to hit, and as long as we don't lose in the next wave, I think we're going to be in really good shape. Hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. But uh, I am really excited to be here with you guys today. I hope everybody's having a good morning. Um, I'm going to trophy push, right? So I'm going to continue to trophy push. It's still pretty early in the season, so I'm not super worried about trophy pushing as of right now. I can kind of worry about that later on in the season. So if you guys want to see certain decks... Let me know. I am happy to put out different decks for you guys. Play with different things. Granted that I don't, I still don't have Inquisitor. So any deck that doesn't have Inquisitor, I can pretty much put out aside from like the random legendaries that are, you know, Clock of Power, Knight Statue, things like that. Um, but everything else I pretty much have. So, so let me know, and, uh, and I'm happy to do with different do different things. Hopefully we can hold on. We got 25 seconds. It is Tamer, which is not the boss you want because the Tamer is not going to give him any more trouble. Um, you know, since he already lost two hearts, the tamer doesn't really matter. I'm just going to keep on spamming shamans. We got a bombardier right there, but we are holding on just a little bit better. We got eight seconds and, uh, and we're going to see what we can do. Actually, they're getting right three seconds, two seconds. That is a GG. I think this guy would be better off if he had cold mage in his deck instead of bombardier, but that's just me. Maybe, it, maybe it wouldn't have mattered. I think he was having a little bit of a tough time. But right there, we're back up to 62-22. Let's jump into another game, and let's see how far we can push it. Guys, the games up here are so incredibly tough. Like I said, I was pushing up really, really well, and then as soon as I got over like 6,000, maybe 6,100, something like that, holy smokes, the games got tough. The games got super tough. This guy's running an Inquisitor uh, Cauldron deck, which is super interesting. And, uh, and I like what this guy is doing. He's trying to hold on with his... Uh, with his summoners, because he doesn't want to spam them out too quick. Right now, people would probably be telling me to spam a shaman. I might as well. And I actually got him. So that was really good. Hopefully that does a little bit of damage. He does have Bombardier, so he's holding on okay. He's going to try and combine out. He's got another one. But at least I made him panic a little bit. You guys know I like to do summoners first. I don't like to spam shamans early on. But really, against Inquisitors, you probably should. We did take that guy out um, just now running the way like doing playing the game the way i like to play it but i do certainly lose sometimes because i'm not keeping the pressure on pushing shamans on inquisitor decks so who knows what's better i definitely don't but let's see we got bedlam i feel like this game is going pretty slow right now i'm trying to get my stuff on the board let me do more things man i want to do some things there we go we got a nice little couple of rank threes uh i guess i'll do this i was going to do shamans but eh got another summoner right there let's level up our boreas again because i really want to hit bedlam before it makes a switch but it's really tough to do especially without any stun um but let's see we, we might be able to we might be able to i'm gonna spam shamans at him right before bedlam hits and we've got we still got 25 seconds so i might be able to get one more guy on my board and i might be able to get my boreas to rank four before the bedlam comes in 16 seconds we got to get 200 mana 
it's definitely possible because we'll heat up pretty quick with our rank three Boreas's. I'm really happy with the fact that he's not keeping his Boreas's right at the front portal spot because that means he's gonna have a harder time. He's gonna spam his board right there. Let's spam his board also. Oh, we slowed down so much. Why did we slow? We still got a rank three though. Okay, we hit one there. We got him down. That was great. It's still only got 38k. So, okay, now he's got four. If the Bedlam switches right now, we might be able to have a prayer, but it switched him into another four. He's got 10 to go through, seven, six, five. It is not going to hit. That's unfortunate. Um, but we tried our utmost. We spammed him right there. We were hoping to get a dub right there or get at least a hit right there. But uh, no dice, no luck. And now we're okay. I, I think our board before was definitely better. He's got four, four Inquisitors, two at rank th uh, three and two at rank two. So he's definitely happy with his board right now. And he's got Cauldron. So that's a really interesting choice in Cauldron. I think that overall Vampire is just better. Um, but hey, I mean, the thing with Cauldron is that you need a bunch of Cauldrons on your map to really get as much profit as possible to where if you're running vampire you only need like one maybe at max two high rank vampires to get the maximum amount of profit um so it's you know and it's more beneficial to have fewer non-damage units on your board than more damage units on your board makes perfect sense let's just do that we got a nice little shaman spam let's get another boreas on our map Let's combine out some rank one units. Another rank one unit. We got another mime. I'm hoping for something. We only have okay. Let's see. We'll do uh, we'll do this and then we'll do that. Got a rank four. We don't have any rank fours. We could combine out summoners, but it's not going to be super beneficial for us. Let's do that and this. And we're going to keep on going. So we're making some pretty good plays. We're keeping him on his toes. We got six seconds, so let's just try and fill our board. We're definitely going to get switched, um, but I think he also is going to get switched. So we got we got our board full. So the only thing I like to do when combining out... Oh my goodness, it was so close. Um, but let's try and combine out all of our cards there. Try to make sure that we're in good shape. I guess I'll do that and that and this. Oh my goodness. Four, okay, I thought he had 400k left. I just saw the 400. Um, but okay, well his board looks bad, but ours doesn't look great either. A rank three helps us actually a lot. And now we're just kind of holding on. He's got two Inquisitors. He could have three with that Harlequin. He's combining out. He merged out really unluckily there. Um, so I'm assuming. Oh, now he's now he's got four. So he's he's back to four, but they're two are rank two, two are rank one. So not exactly what you want. And I'm just trying to build up my mana. Mana. We got 50 seconds until tribunal again. I'm gonna combine out my rank one Boreas's, spamming with a shaman. We got some um, summoners right there, which is great. And I think we might be able to take this guy out. And he just, he rage quit. Okay, so we took him out. We got pretty lucky right there with our bosses. Um, but right there, that's two wins against the Inquisitor deck in a row. I know I put that video out before, a couple days ago now, um, that this deck might counter uh, Inquisitor, Shaman counter Inquisitor. Still don't know if it's 100% true. If you have some good luck with bosses, you might be able to counter it. So Bedlam is so good against Inquisitor. We got another Inquisitor deck. Ooh, but this one also has Boreas and Shaman. Holy smokes, bro. Um, Boreas is really good. Let's see if he spams me. Okay, we got him. We only have one on our board, um, and I'm just gonna hang out. I'm only gonna spam Shamans at him if he spams me first, but we also only have one Boreas, so... I'm going to try and get one more guy on my map, and then I'll sh I'll spam him if I have to. Okay, that was fantastic. Uh, so now we're, now we're kind of sitting pretty, and we do have another Bedlam. So we're going to have to try really hard to get him in bad shape 
um, when the Bedlam hits. But look at our board. We went from one Boreas to, well, we just lost another one because this guy is shamaning me. Um, but to one, two, three, four, five, six. I think we had seven at the time. One, two, three, one. Yeah, seven. And uh, in a matter of seconds. So that's that's what the Summoner does. That's what Harlequin does for you. Such a useful card. Cards, plural. Um, but hopefully we can go against its rabbit, duh, and uh, and take this guy out. But we will see. He's got another shaman over there. I see you camping out with shamans. We do have Bedlam. So again, I don't think we've been able to take out the Bedlam before the switch yet in this video. I know it's possible, but it's certainly tough. And, uh, and especially without any stun or freeze it's really really difficult we got another shaman right there um i'm just gonna get one more guy on my board and then i'm gonna see if i have time to max out my boreas but i don't think i do so right there we can right now spam out three shamans in the least if i turn my harlequin into a shaman but i don't know if i really want to i don't think i'm gonna affect him all that much when the when the bedlam hits so let's just spam right now I'll do another one. Oh, we took it out before it switched that was amazing and uh, okay we did get a Boreas there so that's not a problem actually you know what if he had hit my Harlequin and I didn't make that switch we could have merged it with a with a summoner so that was kind of a bad play for me but we still got a couple of rank 2 Boreases so at this point, since we're still kind of chilling, I'm going to try and get it to rank 4 first, or level 4 first, and then I'm going to continue to make some switches. So, so let's see what we can do. We got a couple of seconds. He's got two Inquisitors and a couple of Boreases on his board, so definitely not exactly what he wants, but, uh, but he's not in bad shape either. So I'm not going to spam him until he gets the right amount of, of Inquisitors, because I don't want to risk helping him out. You know, sometimes in those videos, people spam me with Shamans, and I'm like, oh... Like, good. He, he made it so I can now merge my people. I don't want to even give him that chance. So we're just going to hang out for right now uh, until he can do something. Okay, he's hit me with a... They're getting right to the end of his board, but he's got a couple of... He's got a couple of Boreas's. Man, I mean, right now, I honestly might as well just spam him a little bit because he's having such a tough time. He got a hit. He got a hit. There's another hit. That is three victories against a shaman. Uh, not against a shaman. Again, well, well, this one was against the shaman, but against an inquisitor deck in a row. Right there, we are back up to a new season high, 6272. Like I said, I'm going to continue to push with this with this deck. Ultimately, you know, I don't think I have a better deck right now. I think I play this one pretty well. But if there's certain decks that you guys want me to play or you have some certain deck requests, let me know in the comments. I'm more than happy to try out some of your decks, try out different things. I keep putting out those no legendary deck um, videos too. I, those are a lot of fun. Just kind of, you know, showing off different cards that you're not necessarily necessarily seeing. But if I get a bunch of deck requests, I can kind of make a video out of it with two or three or four different different decks and hopefully i can get a couple of wins but that's going to be the end of this youtube video guys if you enjoyed make sure to like comment and subscribe and i will check you guys out in tomorrow's video